No, no, no. This is not good, guys. I've fucking broken down. I'm on the M54. My oil light came in on the van. Started getting scratchy. And the thing's gone fucking bang. I am not a happy boy. Ugh. Why do these things happen? Oh, they're always sent to test us, right? Oh, fuck's sake. Not happy. Not happy. But guess what? Guess what? So, I've got one of my other subcontractors coming out that I use on a regular. They're going to get the tyre to go and fit. So, they're going to come and pick it up off me now. Um, I am off the carriageway. It's the M54. Ain't in the best of places. There was a lay-by. I was rolling it as best as I could. And this was as best as I got. Not happy. Whew. Thing is, there's nothing obvious it's gone. I'm not gonna lie, there's nothing obvious. It's never had oil leaks. It's always had good oil in the dipstick. Oh, so not happy, guys. I think the oil pump's gone personally myself. Yeah, plenty of oil in it. I think it's the oil pump that shat itself. Oh, well, I do have a second tyre van to keep us up and running. Sometimes I just know that these things are sent to test us. So, hey, got up nice and early Sunday morning. Half for seven, you know, just going out, doing my thing, and then boom, engine's gone. So this van, it was a good purchase. It's still a good purchase, but hey, now I need to find a fucking engine and a fucking van. And most importantly, I need to get myself off this carriageway. So the lad that's coming out, I never advise using tow ropes or anything like that. I'm not actually equipped with any great equipment just yet in the van for me breaking down. I normally carry a tow pole in the other one, but guess what? I've not fully finished everything yet. It's still early days, so what I'm doing, when I brought my metal rack in, I got a little bit of rope. It ain't great, but this will be enough. This was my old winch rope off my, my old winch rope. What was it off? What was it off? What was it off? It was off the Nissan Navara rear winch. So I'm going to chuck that off there, wait for him to get out to me, and we'll just have a nice little pull into the lay-by. Once it's in the lay-by, I'm going to have to get my lady come pick me up to take me all the way home so I can get my big truck and pick up my tyre van. But look at her. Oh, it's such a sad day. Such a sad day. <sighs> just one of them, innit? One of them. Right, going to put this on now. The lad's going to probably be about half hour to 40 minutes to get to me. Um, and yes, yeah, need to make arrangements now to get myself back and get the big fucking truck. And then get this to my mate Garage RAB Autos and we'll get an engine for it probably next week. Because today is Sunday, so yeah. Is what it is, guys. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. We break down. I broke down. I was making my money today. I broke down. I'm now in a negative. I'm in the red. I'm in a loss. Is what it is. See you soon, over and out. Martini tyres, the subby ain't far away now. So, gonna put me rope on so we're ready. Got my lady, she's coming out, picked me up in her car, bless her. Got her out of bed on a Sunday morning. So, and then once she's picked me up and I'm in the lay bar, lock me van up. Don't really want to leave it on the side of the road, but it's gonna be about half an hour back home. Get the big truck and probably 45 to an hour travel time, but it locks up anyway. I'll take a few of my valuables out just in case the worst happens. But it is daytime, nobody should be breaking into me van. But it's still a bit of a scary thing leaving your van inside at road. Um, but what's the point of me paying another recovery for him to pick me up when I got my own truck? You know, one of the advantages of having my own big 18 ton truck that I'll recover myself, it's just a process of getting me back home and getting me in my truck. Obviously, the other two lads have got me insurance. They aren't class two, so they can't drive it. Right, anyway, going to put this rope on. It should only be in about 15, 20 minutes at most. There's a lay-by. 
Like half a mile up there. I was rolling and rolling the best I could and it just didn't quite have enough. We all break down lads and girls and ladies. We all break down. Just one of them, isn't it? Just one of them. One of them things. Just another day in the life of. I'm just so happy I've got two tyre vans. So happy I've got two tyre vans. Right, that's the rock. Be enough for that. Fucking train. Never seen a train next to the M fifty four. Right, well that's me rope out and ready. We're all up, we're geared up, done about four knots on it. Should be right to give us a little tug. Not sure if he's got a tow bar on his van, but hey, we will get there. I'm gonna have to probably make that loop a little bit bigger, but I'll do it when he's here. So that's it. I'm gonna go stand behind my vehicle to ensure my safety at the roadside. And that's it guys, that's a wrap. GDB is broken down again, it does happen. Never let these things neg you out though, to be honest. It's all about how you deal with the situation. Oh, look at her. Oh, baby. I know. One of them. Yeah, never let these things neg you out. The sensor test us at the end of the day. We're in the recovery industry and tyre industry. Your vehicles are on the road all the time. Of course they're going to break down. If there was one vehicle that was... If there was one vehicle that never broke down... We'd all have one, apart from Tesla, because £100,000. But hey, is what it is. The famous saying is what it is. Right, going to save me battery. Just going to start Googling now. I'm probably going to try and find a new engine. I'm not a fan of buying second hand because it'll end up just going again. It's a workhorse. I need reliability. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Is what it is. I've just had the customer on the phone. I've told him I told him the scenario that we've broken down. The ETA on the job was between half eight and half nine. It's an hour and 20 minute travel time. So I'm on 10 o'clock now. Obviously, I've just had to quickly arrange a few things to get obviously us out of this dangerous situation whilst getting another tyre company, which are very close to me in Wolverhampton, to go and grab this tyre to go and finish my job. And he's kicking off at me. I'm like... I'm sorry, but we break broken down. He says, not my problem you've got SHIT vehicles. Oh, I'm sorry. 
We're trying to help you. I said, do you want me to just cancel the... No, no, no. Don't want you to cancel the law. I've already got help arranged. Another fit is on the way. We've got the tyre. Just wait a minute, like. I'm half an hour late at the minute, yes. And by the time the fit is in a minute, we're only less than 30 minutes from where the job is anyway. So, like, I'm sorry, but a one-hour delay is not bad in genuine circumstances. So, you know... Can't really put it into words. I apologise. I said, I'm sorry, but I've already got another fitter on their way out to you at my expense. Obviously, I could get Danny and Stafford to come out, but that's going to be about 45 minutes to an hour for him getting here, whereas Wolverhampton is way closer. They're only about 20, 25 minutes from here. So I'm paying them at my expense to speed this job up so we're not as late on the job. That's the type of service that I do try to provide for everyone. I'll do everything in my best interests and as fast as I can. If that's not good enough, well, I'm sorry, we ain't got helicopters just yet. So, a little bit of patience, and I apologise. Can't do anything, I've broken down. Right, Martini Ty should be here in a sec anyway. Get me out of this fucking hard shoulder he's got. Bid. Get me in a lay-by. Wait for my lady to pick me up and then recover her. Thanks for watching. Hey, in the meantime, whilst I'm waiting, uh, Transit Parts Centre, I think they're in London and uh, they've got a brand new engine on eBay they've sold several of but I want to make sure it's brand new and not reconditioned so just sending that over to them now on eBay it says brand new engine for Ford Transit Mark 7 2.4 rear wheel drive 2006 to 2014 three grand, three year warranty and yes it does say, well look they've sold 11 of them and there's one left so you know but i want to find out is it actually brand brand new or is it a recon because i've had recon units before and they do not last five minutes so i'm hoping it's brand brand new if it is i'll be hitting the bike now this morning um, and we'll have that here for early next week yeah we're using they're not remanufactured full time the our price is plus that plus postage depends on delivery address brand new service engine so yeah no old unit required mm, yeah Hopefully it will be a brand new unit and not remanufactured, but it's always best to ask the question before you part with three grand plus the VAT, which is like, what, three grand plus VAT's 3,600 and then the postage. So you're talking probably just shy of four grand and a bit delivered and then probably about 500 pound in labour swapping the bits over. But you know what it means if we're buying an engine block, we may as well buy a new clutch, a dual mass flywheel and go all out as well. So, yeah. I'll keep you updated with my findings when I get a response. Hoping seven days from now, this so today's Sunday, hoping by next Sunday we'll have a back on the road. That's how much and quick I need this doing. I need it fixed yesterday, but it didn't break down yesterday. Oh. I just wondered why everybody's slowing down. <laughs> Look at me, Van. I forgot I got the Instagram symbols on top. Oh, well. Makes my life a little bit safer at the roadside. Transit part centre, it's completely brand new. If you provide your red chassis number, I can check compatibility. Good morning. Thanks for quick response. Registration is Golf November 0. Hey, yes, yes, my friend. Yes! Let's get it! Oh. oh no, no tow bar.
just pulling into the lay-by now. It's times like this that I really appreciate working with other companies and keeping people sweet. You know, it pays off in dividends a million times over. Just make sure not to run over the tow rope. Yeah, brilliant. There we go, that's us. Oh, that's Martini Ties away, thanks for helping, much appreciated, and my lady's just arrived to take me home, we'll go get the big truck, and uh, yeah, get her picked up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the M54, and we are overtaking the Burke, with no straps on the driver's side, but he may have done a job on the motorway, who knows. Personally, I would have kept my beacons on though. Yeah. So I didn't see any straps on the driver's side. Absolutely fine if you just picked up a vehicle off the hard shoulder. You know, it's not safe to do any work on the driver's side. But I would have personally kept my beacons on just to warn others that my vehicle's not that secure. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, if you're watching Sam, you little snake, Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep getting them views up, and I'll see you on the next one. Not too far away now. Got one more lay-by to go past, so another mile and a half, and we'll be there. Don't know what to say, really. Shit happens. Get on with it. Obviously, yes, I'm not wearing my seatbelt, because I ain't got one, okay? Um, obviously, we're gonna, because my vehicle's in a lay-by, I will literally tilt and slide it, winch it up, uh, strap both sides um, if it's in a lay by it's off the carriageway so it'll be safe enough to do my driver's side wheels I think for now rather than me taking it to my mate's garage I'm gonna take it back home just for now because I'm not 100% sure what route I'm going down whether I'm gonna get an engine myself and get, to, uh, get it to a garage and get it fixed or some companies out there that do the engines do a supply fit anyway so I aren't 100% sure what I'm doing just yet, so I just need to sit down, have a cup of tea, and uh, see what my mind says. So, yeah. I can get an engine from London. Obviously, I ain't taking it down London too. It's miles away that I get delivered. Uh, but I need to make sure that it's a brand new engine, not remanufactured, remanufactured. Um, and just check that, you know, all the XYs and Zs and check the company, make sure they are a reputable company, because I, no, I don't know who they are. Miles away, you're paying three odd thousand pounds, so. Got to do your research before you just come in and buy these things. Right, just gone past the mile marker, going to turn the camera around now, um, and we'll soon be on scene back with the transit jumbo. Bam! Poor girl.
Right, let's put some air in the suspension and get out of here. Right, now need to just reverse back a little bit because I want to use the full length of this lay-by so I can build up my speed to rejoin the carriageway. So we've got a gap coming up in the traffic anyway. Yeah, sound. Thank you. So we are all up and loaded with four straps. Hello my four strapper friends, thanks for watching. Just gotta put it out there again like as much as I don't like the previous company that did not have any straps on the driver's side, they've obviously passed us health and services and they've passed me in a reasonable size lay-by. It ain't good, like, not just them, but everybody else. Why not just secure your load? I know I'm not securing it, because I've got no seat bar, but I can't put a ratchet strap around me. But it's the sheer basics of recovery. Like, if you're up there in the big boy category, you know, you've got all your, your certificates, your qualifications, your passport, your freeze, your insurances, you've got your staff, your employer's liability. Why risk a customer vehicle potentially falling off your truck? Secure your load and finish it off with your name professional. Anyway, can't really put it into words like, it's the most simplest of things on a job, to strap your wheels. Why don't we do it? Because it saves you 20 seconds. Okay. Sorry. I don't know anyway. Well, transit's loaded. We're on our way back. I'm going to leave it on my truck because I'm not even finished doing my, my lighting on it yet. My spot lamps, my front spot. I've got loads to do still. So if it's in the garage, all he's going to do is take the engine out and that's it. And it's going to sit there until I get a new one. So I'd rather be back at home at the minute. I can still do a little bit of work on it when I've finished doing the Jeep because that is today's project is the Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. We've got one leaf spring to do, <laughs> one shock absorber to do, then hopefully today by four o'clock I'm going to go up to Nottingham and buy some wheels and tyres for it. If, if, if time is on my side. Well, that's today's fuck up. That has put me miles behind. I was behind schedule anyway, put me further behind now. Now, regards to fixing engines, gearboxes, clutches, I can do a lot of work myself, but let's be honest, my time on that, I'll be on it an hour, gotta go, be on it 10 minutes, gotta, I can't, it's, that's too lengthy for me to do. So it needs to be on the road ASAP. So if we'll go to a garage, I've just gotta work out what is my best procedure moving forwards, and in the best interests of the transit. Anyway, gonna cut the clip now. You've seen a little bit of action this morning. Still got stuff to do, so I will catch you later on. Thanks for watching. That's fine. So you're on the Esso Garage petrol station in Lee. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's only the one to be honest on Ashbourne Road. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just putting their postcode on now. So ST135 Bravo Juliet. So, supply and fit, one times new mid-range tyre, 225 40 18. What is your first name? That is us back at base now. Uh, Danny has just been called in, he's got a tyre job on to do in Leak. Uh, so yeah, he'll be going out in the original tyre van, well, one of the original vans. The van that works, the only van I've got the other one, so yeah. He'll be out to do that very shortly, so yeah, happy days.